This is Sarah Theory, where Mary had a little lamb, little lamb, little lamb. Mary had a little lamb, her fleece was white as snow. So funny story, I was all set to record a nice quiet vlog, but then the air conditioner came on. First world problems. It's actually not that bad out here. So today I wanted to talk about crushes. Now, when I was growing up, I was very obsessive. I obsessed over lots of things like ancient Egypt, ancient Rome, Greece, Harry Potter, Three Stooges, Digimon, band practice. But the biggest thing I was obsessed with was reading. I've read literally every book in the house from the Clifford the Big Red Dog to the books of the Pendragon Cycle by Stephen Lawhead. I was like eight years old when I read those. They were way over my head and way inappropriate. I learned a lot about, um, I don't know, violence. Every time I went to the library, I would be checking out 10, 15, 20 books, and I would read all of them in a few days. I could tear through like 300 pages in a day. It's kind of ridiculous thinking about that now because I can barely get through 10 to 15 pages without getting bored and having to take a break. But back then, man, I could read for hours because I was bored. There was nothing else to do. Why didn't you go on the internet? When I was growing up, the internet wasn't really a, as big of a deal. Like, I got my first email address when I was 12. So before that, like, what are you going to do? And this was before YouTube. This was before Facebook. It was MySpace, but I didn't really understand how MySpace worked. So the only thing I really had was reading. I still obsess over things today, but not to the extent I did back then. Currently, am I obsessed with anything? I was going to say Welcome to Night Vale, but I kind of caught up on that show and I kind of lost interest in it. Uh, I'm pretty into Rhett and Link, GMM, the stuff they do. Anyway, I was so freaking bored in real life that I tried to convince myself that my life was just like the life of the people I've read about in books. Like I was waiting for somebody to come to me and tell me I had a magic destiny. Like um, the protagonist in Aberrat, Candy. I was like, yo, that could be me. Or I thought I might catch a disease and then everyone would have to be nice to me. Like Colin in The Secret Garden. If you read that book, that was one of my favorites. I read that so many times. Or better yet, I was waiting for some cute guy to ask me out. If I had been a teenager more recently, I probably would have been obsessed with Twilight, which is terrible, but bear with me here. The first crush I can remember that I actually tried to do something about happened when I was like 12. Okay, this is really stupid. I wrote him secret admirer notes because I had read a book where a girl did that to the boy she liked. Of course, in the book, they got together. So I thought, oh, this is like magic. You write a secret admirer note, he gets all excited, he wants to, he wants to like be your boyfriend. So I wrote secret admirer notes. I had my best friend at the time pass them off to the guy. I was waiting, I was, I was so excited. I was like, yo, he's gonna be like, who's this girl who's gonna look for me and we're gonna be like dating and we're gonna like, uh, hold hands and watch movies because that's what you do with boyfriends, right? Spoiler alert, he didn't care. Now, I had a crush on another boy who was a few years older than me. When I was like 12, 13, he was already in high school. And I didn't try the secret admirer note tactic with him. The tactic I tried was sit and stare at him and follow him around all the time. In my head, that worked. Like, you know, you're always there. He'd be like, yo, I need a girlfriend. Oh, look, this girl here, come here. Like that, that's what I was thinking. Spoiler alert, he didn't care. He ended up dating my um, best friend at the time, you know, the one who was passing off secret admirer notes. Yeah, he was dating her. And instead of being a normal human being and leaving them alone, I was like the uh, third wheel. So uh, that was fun. After that, I had lots of crushes. Spoiler alert, none of them were ever into me. None of them. It was probably because I was very shy and I never said anything to them. I was kind of a sit around and maybe someone will fall out of the sky and want to date you type of person. But see, when, you're, when your life was as, I guess, same as mine, samey, monotony as mine growing up, every little thing was a big deal. So these types of crushes were a very big deal for me. So tell me a story. Who was your first crush? Did you guys end up dating? Did you guys end up maybe even getting married? Let me know. I'll talk to you later. I hear the cicadas, so that must mean it's time for me to go. Bye.